an art journal tutorial, Things That Matter Most, by Creative Katie, Karen Birchall. Hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Select the option to get notified of new videos. So I'm grabbing my um, recycled altered book. After doing the iCADs, I'm going to do an entire page and I've decided that I'm going to put some modeling paste through a stencil. With the iCADs, because the surface was so small, you never really got full benefit of putting much texture or texture paste on the pick on the card. So I've been just itching to get get this out. So I'm cleaning up a little bit and then I'm going to dry it. So I've selected four colors of my Dilutions paints and you saw my color swatch there. Uh, someone had asked for a video on that, so I think I might be doing that a little bit later. Um, so I have my three colors, and they are analogous colors. They are close to each other on the color wheel. And to that one, I've added the midnight, after midnight, the dark blue that you see me applying right now. It kind of goes together with these colors. I could have just picked three, but I just couldn't limit myself to three. So when you're watching this video, it looks like this paint is going on really, really easy, and it's not difficult. Um, it is a gessoed surface, and you do have to play with the colors to get them to blend correctly. And, you know, don't get fooled by the seemingly ease of which they're going on now. Um, at several par parts of this, I kind of struggle and put on more paint. I find when I'm struggling and it's not working, just to step back and let it dry, dry it with a heat tool, and then come back and apply small layers of a little bit of paint. And then I just blend to get rid of the lines and over with one color and the other color and, and do that. But it is a bit of a process and don't get frustrated if, if you watch it and it looks so easy when someone else does it. I find these paints work a lot better if the surface is not gessoed. So I'm just spraying a little bit of water into my Dilutions paints. They're, they've been exposed a lot to the air, so they're just kind of drying out a little bit. So just re-putting it in. And then I'm showing you how I clean off the blending tools. And I just wet a, paper, wet a uh, coffee filter, could, wet, could be a paper towel, and I'm just applying the paint on to that. And I spray the water directly into the blending tool and try to get all the paint out. And I find this works really well for keeping the uh, foam, foam part of the blending tool um, clean and it lasts longer. So just really cleaning up and going back to this. So I decided I want to add some more interest and I want to get out some stencils or stamps and so I have my Live, Love, Laugh stamps that I got from, I think, believe it's a recollection set from Michaels. And I'm just stamping on black. And then I have a piece of shelf liner there and I'm going to put white acrylic paint on it and press it in. So here you go, I'm doing the whole sheet and I press down on it and it's like, yeah, no, that's way too much. So very quickly I get rid of rid of that and I'm going for half a piece and I'm putting it randomly on it and it looks nice right now but I wasn't really happy with it it was a little I don't know too much in your face so when I'm unhappy I'm adding more I gotta tell you I did not have a plan for this page other than to have some fun with a whole size page after doing the index cards for 61 days um, that was about it and you know when I start to get a plan because that's when I start undoing everything I've done I'm just cleaning my stamp I'm just spraying water into it and just getting it in a with a tooth with a brush so I'm drawing this and I was like okay now what am I going to do so I grab my stencils and I have this huge dun dragonfly one and so I'm going to apply black acrylic paint, I think that's Mars black, through the stencil 
and I'm applying it with a cut and a piece of cut and dry foam which I find really works well. So if you're really struggling with stenciling, try the cut and dry foam. Um, you get a sheet of it and then you can cut it into whatever sizes you want. It comes clean really quickly if you just throw it in the water. Um, yeah, I really enjoy those. And I find it, it's I'm more successful with stenciling with them than any other tool. So I have the black there and now I'm applying some Murphy's Oil Soap to my stencil and I'm just cleaning it. I especially like to clean off when I use the black because I find that can carry over if, I've used, if I use a light color the next time. So I have the acrylic paint so I'm just edging it in black. Grabbing out my all my gel pens. Not really sure where I'm going. Trying the gold and yeah nothing. It just didn't do anything for that. So I decide I'm going to go dot, 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 or dash, 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 all around the dragonfly. Which is a nice effect at different times. I think the problem here, or in what's going on in my mind, is that the dot, dot, dot is kind of competing with the uh, liner stamping that I did on the white. And it's making it read a little too busy in my mind. So off camera, I took the uh, sponges and covered up, went over the white, just to push back that white a little bit. I, it was just too bright and too white, and my, my dragonflies weren't standing out. I'm not sure what to do next. I'm still not thinking I'm done, so I'm just edging around the page with my Uniball Signo gel pen. I love this thing. I just wish it was permanent. Oh my, I wish it was permanent. So I'm deciding on a sentiment, and this is from um, a sentiment stamp set of Tim Holtz's. And it says, things that matter most must never be at the mercy of things that matter least. And I cut it out, and I just placed it, you know, in this way. And I think sometimes when you, how you place your letters, and your words really has an impact on the page. Play around with it. Um, cut, cut it out a couple times and play around and experiment. Take pictures in between and, you know, think outside the box. Do something different. So I'm edging with my um, Stabilo All Pencil and just activating it with water. And I like the, the white of the uh, text that I've added here seems to be just enough, enough solid to ground the page in my mind. But I'm thinking the dragonflies need to be outlined in white. So I'm going around the outer edge. So I've got the dashes and now I have the outline. I'm thinking it may have worked okay if I had just, you know, gotten a baby white and erased all the Uniball Signo and just outlined it and got rid of the dashes. But I didn't. Next time. So now I'm taking my Stabilo All Pencil and I'm just putting the lines in where the texture paste is. And I just want to darken this a little bit and make it stand out. So just rubbing it with my finger wasn't quite giving me the effect that I want. So then I'm going back and I'm at you activating the Stabilo All Pencil with my with just water and a brush. And I don't want to do all of them. I don't want to. I want to do some of them everywhere. And I just wanted to give this page more weight. Now I have some magicals, and the problem that I found here, I can't just spray with water and let them flow because I have my Uniball Uniball Signo pen, and it's not permanent, so it would have it would start to run, and I'd lose it. So this would have, would have been something that I would have done before I put the dragonflies or before I did the white. 
So it's just the sequence of events is out. But when you're creating, you know the right sequence by the time you're done. So if I was to do this again or do this on a canvas, I would do this to be a wall pencil on this part and the magicals before I outlined the dragonflies in white. And that way I'd keep the everything nice and fresh and I would have a little bit more randomness with the um, and letting the, the magicals flow. Giving it a dry, I'm just touching up the little areas that I want darker. And I like how this brought out the, the texture. And I'm going to splatter with some of the leftover magicals. This didn't add a whole lot. I wanted it to add a little bit more um, glimmer. And there's the finished page. I think I might go back and um, go around the edges with my Stabilo Oil Pencil and just darken the edges. They seem to not quite work. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment.